how to create a Amazon KDP account. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP account. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, I'm on their main website. So over here, all you have to do is just simply click on join KDP. So when we click on join KDP, it's going to take us to the registration form where we can go ahead and sign up. So over here, just enter in your name, your email, your password, and you are good to go. And once you've done that, you are good to go. Then I just need to follow, solve this puzzle. I don't know how. I think we just follow this line. I think they're coming up with clever ways to, I don't know if I passed or not. Let me see. Okay. I, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. So next they'll send you a one-time passcode to your email. So just enter that over here. And then we just simply hit the verification button and we are good to go. So now we just add in the phone number. So just simply add in your phone number over here and we are good to go. Once you've created an account, when you log in, this is how it's going to look like. Uh, here you will have all of your accounts. Here you have create, manage, and publish. Here you can go ahead and create a new title or series right here. As you can hear, you can click on create to create a book. Here is going to be the bookshelf. And once you've created the book, it'll pop up right here underneath this bookshelf. And if you click on bookshelf over here at the top, of course, it'll be taken over here again because you haven't created a book yet. But yeah, and then we have community and we also have marketing as well. And in community, of course, is a community where you can go ahead and find all the questions and from the support form. And then we have marketing option. If you click on marketing here, we have the uh, marketing resources where we have KDP select, Amazon ads or A plus content and run a price promotion. So you can go ahead and promote your book or your collection of books as well. So let's go back over here onto the KDP option. And now we can go ahead and create a book now. For this example or this video, I'm just simply going to go over here onto the Gutenberg library or Project Gutenberg. And we're just simply going to go ahead and, you know, copy a book just for this uh, example. Of course, you have to create your own one. So let's go ahead and copy, copy this one, Sayu by Henry Ardell, right? So let's see what we have over here so we have kindle option already available right here we can go ahead and download it we have the read online which is the web section if we click over here it'll open up the entire book right here of course it's in uh, french so yeah we should probably go ahead and find a book that's in english just to be safe so let's go ahead and see what this is a short history of belgian by leon van der essen let's go ahead and go ahead and read online Yep, this is in English and we can go ahead and use this. So here we have the entire book with pages and everything. So let's go ahead and copy everything, right? And here we come back over here onto the create, manage and public section. Let's go ahead and create a book. We're going to click on create. And here, what would you like to create? So we have Kindle ebook. We have the paper book, hardcover or series page, whichever one you want. Uh, we're going to create an ebook. We'll click on create ebook. So now we just simply come over here underneath language. We're going to select language right here. Uh, book title, of course, this is a short history of Belgium, right? Here we go. A short history of Belgium. And we're going to paste that title over here. Does it have a subtitle? I don't think so. So we'll leave it at that. And then we have series. It's not a series. So we're going to skip this and edition number. If you want, you can add, but we're going to skip this as well. Next is the author here. We're going to add the first name and last name of the author. So it is Leon van der Essen. I don't know if it's his first name is going to be Leon. And then van der Essen is going to be the last name. And then we have contributors. Uh, does it have contributors over here? I don't see a special chapter on Belgian you so we'll just skip that as well and then in the description we'll just go ahead and copy the description of this right here copy that and paste it right here and of course we are good to go so after that uh, right publishing I own the copyright this is a public 
domain so we're going to do that uh we selected this as a public domain because gutenberg is a public library and everything on it is for public use so it's public right so you can go ahead and use it uh primary audience sexually explicit images or title i don't believe there is so we're just simply going to go ahead and know reading age i don't know it's i don't think a baby could read that so we'll just say 15 above maybe even 16 and yeah, maximum whatever after that, the primary marketplace, Amazon.com or whatever category, you can select category as well. So there's multiple categories since this is a history. So we're going to select history right here. And here we have subcategory as well. So, so this isn't a ancient history or anything like that. This is a regional, I would say, or religion. So we're just simply going to go ahead and say Europe because it is part of Europe. And then, I don't know, Eastern or Central Europe. So we're going to select subcategory is going to be Central because, you know, Belgium is part of Germany, which is in Central Europe. And after that, we can go ahead and click on Save. And once that's done, you can go ahead and add keywords over here and then just simply click on Save and Continue. A minimum, maximum age, of course, I forgot. So we're going to do that and click on Save and Continue. I believe it's good. And now we have the main option where we have to go ahead and add the ebook content. So here we have the cover. So the cover is going to be very simple. Uh, this is the cover. So we're just simply going to go ahead and save the copy, save the image over here, save this one as well. And we are good to go. After that, we're going to go ahead and add cover. This is the cover creator here. You can go ahead and choose design style and, you know, create your own cover. But we're actually going to go back and we are are going to upload our own cover file which is going to be this one right here and over here image maximum all right so i guess we're going to go ahead and launch the cover creator and here we go uh now we can go ahead and choose whichever one you want i think this one looks good so we're going to click on this one after that we'll click on save and we should be good to go and after previewing it and clicking on save and submit we should be good to go this is going to be our cover and all that's left is to go ahead and select no and ebook preview kindle isbn this is all optional after that we're going to go ahead and click on the next section and over here we have to upload the manuscript as well so we click over here uh, if you want you can go ahead and download the manuscript from this website as well so let me go back here we have all the option so if we click on kindle we can download the main file there like that and then we can go ahead and upload it so right now we are uploading the manuscript of course this is just an example and once it's saved uh once you've filled out all the forms and everything just simply click on save and continue and after that you can go ahead and add the pricing of your ebook and you should be good to go after that it'll be available on your bookshelf and you can go ahead and promote it on amazon and start earning money with it so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye.